tools. This is Farron for you. Paul Bedimo. You've been here before. I will return later with your results. So this is how the famous No Eviction Sunday went. Lawrence had to put a little bit of fear in the housemates, most especially tools. So that's the video you just saw. Lawrence called him out and said, you know, just kept him standing for a while. And then it was later on, he now told him that um, he's safe and then told all of them that there's no eviction. This week for the No Eviction Sunday, I can't help but feel disappointed to be honest. Like there's so much that they would have done today with this No Eviction Week. There's so much, so much. But um, if I go into it, welcome back to my channel, guys. If you are new here, please do subscribe, turn on your post notifications so that I can get notified each time I post a brand new video. And don't forget to give this day a thumbs up. So let's just talk about the things that happened during the live eviction show before we now go and dissect how it was and the things that um, maybe would have been done better. So they started off with a performance from Amaroto. I actually do enjoy the song that he performed because I usually hear it on Saturday so I like that song that he performed. <laughs> then Lawrence came in and gave um, a few announcements on the things that are going to change this week. Apparently um, DSTV channel 198 is now open to access subscribers so those that have the low package on DSTV can now watch the show for the next two weeks but it's going to begin from tomorrow that's monday then for the questions that he asked the housemates he just um spoke to temba about the head of house he's had a head of house reign and you know congratulated him as usual congratulations of winning head of house you know your housemates voted for you sure uh, no, I'm not the then he spoke to some other housemates and I said, I'm not going to talk about it because he was not speaking English. And I said, I'm not going to be stressed. Lawrence is not going to stress me. This is about, this is like the eighth week and we are still getting him. Uh, we are still trying to make him not speak Venak during the live eviction show, especially based on the fact that it's not only South Africans that are watching. So I'm not going to even stress myself and start trying to dissect the things that he said. I'm just going to talk about the more important ones, the more important things that he addressed, the things that I was able to understand. For example, the fact that he addressed Gash one and, and tato as tash one Abba, Abba, Abba Salagun, love lives here tash one <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like he should have not said it. He should have not told them what they are referred to out as outside because that kind of gives away things that are be it gives them an idea about the things that are happening outside, especially what their ship name is. And then it's going to give them a different idea, or it's going to give them a particular idea of how people perceive their ship or give room for other housemates to hit on it more hit on it more. So I don't know, I just feel like he shouldn't have addressed them as that. But what do you guys think? Do you think it's okay that he referred to them as Tash One? Then another thing that happened was Lawrence um exposing Libo as the person that took the housemates items. So he said Libo um he just told them that um uh, do they want to know the person that took it and they were like yes and he now mentioned to them that it was libo that went around and took everybody's i mean each of them's item some of them were laughing some were not finding it funny it was obvious in the way that their faces were i'm like okay this is not how i expected it to be you guys have your beloved deputy head of house libo for disappearing codes there in the house really <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I don't know what has become of them, but we'll find out soon enough. And so, I feel like maybe they should have just showed them a video of how the whole thing went down, <laughs> so that'd be more funny. But um, apparently, Lawrence just announced to them, and it didn't give the gang feeling that I was expecting expecting you to give. Then another person that performed was what was the person's name? Pabi Cooper. Pabi Cooper um, was the second person that performed towards the end of the show. That was also nice. It's another song that I really like from the songs I've heard in the Saturday parties. Then that was all that happened during the live eviction show. It was almost like the live eviction show was just being dragged left, right and center. I expected that they were going to do the veto power game during the live eviction show but apparently that's not what happened if they are just even done like i told i said this before i've said this in one of my videos that sometimes this live eviction show can go on for 30 minutes and it will be okay they don't need to use one hour especially if they don't have anything to really really do 
today is one of those days because um, well, nothing really happened then another thing i wanted to chip in is the fact that biggie should have done something at least we know it's a fake eviction um fake yeah if, fake eviction show but he should have done something not to just go and review to the housemates the have um, live eviction i mean there's no eviction this week like you should have done fake eviction for real evict two people that are not part of the ultimate um veto power games just you know put them in a secret room or even evict one person just something a twist and it's not only today that i've been feeling like they should have introduced a twist this week there's so much that they could have used this week for first of all you should have not even closed the conspiracy corner we know that the conspiracy is fake or at least we the audience will know and we are going to just have um have fun watching them conspire even though there's no um actual eviction so they go into the conspiracy corner they go in and do their regular nominations that will give them the feeling that there's evictions this week so they go into their normal nominations even though there's no um eviction then you now have people that are up for possible eviction just you know to make them feel on their toes throughout the week but this week from the beginning of this week no conspiracy corner um, no nomination it's already gave off it already gave the housemates the idea that hmm, i don't think anything is going to happen this week they already knew so it didn't really give that's why everybody most of the housemates were just relaxed this week and just made the week a little bit boring and it didn't have any flair basically so biggie biggie if you're listening to this thing please now please do something for us i know it's difficult to host a show like this but just help us then one thing that now happened after the live eviction show i feel like that's the only drama that we even got safe it wasn't paul that gave us drama <laughs> and um it was her crying over the item that was taken from her apparently is a traditional outfit her traditional item um that libo took from her he went too far sorry man if it was a yeah, shoe, I wouldn't fair. mind. But the fact that it's in a sheet, putting it by your pants for sheet, that's worse. And then, yeah, I tried to ask for money, he's already ready to attack me. So she was just sitting down with Terry. Tato and Sister Mara and having a conversation about the whole thing. Tato was even saying that ah, if it's somebody that did not know, then yeah, maybe the, the fact that it's Libo makes, it makes it more painful. I'm not going to go too deep into the whole issue of trying to dissect the situation because, to be honest, the fact that there was no drama this time, I liked this, this particular drama that she brought out, but um, I don't think it's something that um, Libo should be blamed for. Big Brother gave him a task. It's a task. When you go into Big Brother house, anything is expected. So I don't think it's really that um, if, any, if anybody should be blamed, then it's Big Brother. What if Big Brother told him to take that particular item? After all, Tuesday's jersey was taken and Big Brother kind of specified somehow that um, at least uh, that's one of the things I would be expecting Libo to take. And um, Tuz also said, Tuz already said that that was given to him by his grandma and he feels lucky with it. Then um, Libo and Temba, they were upstairs having a conversation about it Temba was just telling him that he should not allow it um get to him that Paul is out to get him so i don't understand that's what i'm saying with you. she's trying to get people by her side these things are treats man. that's what nani did mm. so just don't let her lawyer in and blow you into her thing no bro trust she's crying for what she's out to get you this one man. Yeah, that's what happened with the housemates and every other thing. Then for the ultimate veto power games, during the live eviction show, Lawrence announced that um, the housemate that wins the ultimate veto power is going to take two housemates with them to the finale, which when I heard, I was like, hey, that's a lot. That's a whole lot of power. And it's going to just shake or scatter the dynamics of what people expect the top five to be. But Big Brother's house, Big Brother's rules, what can we do? We're just going to take it as it is. Right now, as I'm making this video, the Ultimate Power and uh, Vito Power Games is uh, is ongoing. If they are done with it before I, I'm done editing, I'm going to include it. But for now, the game that Big Brother gave them is to carry a plate, like a tray kind of stuff with a ball. And the last person to drop it last person if the ball falls then you're going to lose then secondly the person that is able to hold it the longest is going to win for that one i feel like sister mara has a one for having stamina i feel like sister mara would rather faint on it than to drop it so i don't know let's see how it's going to go sharp for now thanks for watching and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i'm going to see you on the next one bye love you